Good morning, everyone. This is book six, lines 607 to 627. Nice brief um, brief passage now. And uh, since we last saw Aeneas, he has been led through the underworld by the Sibyl, and he has met Deiphobus, who represents Troy. If you remember, we said Anchises, obviously representing his father. He was his father, comes to terms with his father. Dido comes to terms with his romantic past. And then we have Deiphobus, who I suppose is a representation of Troy, his Trojan past. Then he is also led through and told, uh, told about Tartarus, their equivalent of hell. If you remember, there was that line that I loved, Nox ruit Aenea, nox flendo ducumus oras. Night is coming, Aeneas, very Game of thrones Night is coming, nox ruit, the night is, night is rushing on, Aeneas. We waste our hours with weeping. And then he's shown these two sort of different directions of the paths towards Tartarus and the path towards Elysium, and he is told about the horrors of what happens in, um, in Tartarus. And then we have this description by Virgil of, I suppose, the sins of Romans and the things that they're committing. And so we get to see a little bit of sort of what the Romans view. It's this idea of justice, of right and wrong. Hic quibus in visi fratres. So here, uh, fratres, um, here are those by whom brothers are in visi. Here are those by whom brothers are hated, while vita manebat, while life remained for them, um, by whom a parent was struck, and by whom fraud was um, enacted, I suppose, upon a client. Out, or who soli, or who brooded, I suppose, in cubuere, or who brooded soli alone over divitis repertis, over the wealth that had been gathered, neck, and did not posuere, and did not give any partem, or, um, any portion did not give out any suis to their relatives. So again, these people that have hoarded their money rather than actually giving it away and doing the right thing with it. Quai, which I love this, this fact that actually the people that are doing this, you know, that hell isn't simply reserved for the people that have done awful things, that have murdered people and stuff like that. This is people who have literally just been too stingy with their money. That reveals Roman attitudes, I suppose, towards wealth. Nowadays, anyone is... Anyone achieves status, I'm sounding crusty and angry here, but anyone, is, anyone achieves status simply by being wealthy enough and then getting a rich and sort of getting a good enough accountant that they will sort of preserve their riches and not have to pay it in taxes in Rome, that would have been awful. Quiet. These are the largest number. This is the largest number. This is the greatest crowd. Qui, as in the people that were um, hoarding their money. Quique, and those who Caesi were slaughtered on account of adultery. The Blue Book tells you at the back about how in, um, in Rome there was still... This, uh, this tradition that a person could slaughter someone who had cheated, um, who had had an affair with their spouse. Having said that, Augustus had changed it and, um, and made it illegal by law. Made it illegal. Um, Quickway, those who were slaughtered on account of adultery. Quickway, those who followed up impious arms, as in committed treachery, neck, and didn't fear to deceive the right hand. Again, the back of MacLennan is very good, talking to us about the idea of the master and the slave and the loyalty that one owes to one's master. And um, did not weriti, imagine sunt, did not fear, not fearing, but did not fear to deceive the right hand, to betray maybe the right hand of their masters. Inclusive, they locked in, await punishment. Ne quare, and then we have this, uh, this next order, do not seek to learn, ne, don't look to learn, quam, what punishment, what doom maybe, or what form of crime, out quae forma, what form, of crime, or what fate, mercit, has overwhelmed these people, has overwhelmed these men. Um, Saxum ingens, we then get the story of uh, Sisyphus, a reference and allusion, I suppose, to Sisyphus and the rock, and then Ixion's wheel. Uh, what form of crime, what fate has overwhelmed them? Some roll, alley, some roll, a huge rock, a huge stone. Or they are stretched, or they pendants rather, sorry, or they hang districtly, stretched out over radius, over the spokes of a wheel, Ixion's wheel. Sedet Theseus. You then get this next bit, which is rather confusing, seeing as Theseus was supposedly saved by Hercules, even according to Charon earlier on. Um, misfortune, unfortunate, unhappy Theseus, Sedet, sits um, for all time. So he said it, and he will sit. Look at that anaphora. And he will sit. The anaphora is stressing the eternity of the, of the punishment. Unhappy Theseus sits and will sit for all time. 
and Phlegias, the destroyer of Apollo's temple, as it talks about, and Phlegias, most misfortunate, unfortunate, I keep on saying misfortunate, I don't even think that's a word, and Phlegias, um, most unfortunate, gives warnings, admonet, warns all, and acts as witness, and bears witness with a great voice amid per umbras, amid the shadows, discite, be warned, this is a great line for justice that I've talked to you about before. Be warned to be just. Learn to be just and not non temnere and not to slight, not to insult the gods. That's a great line for any essay of justice you may have to write. When did it? This one, hik, this one, anaphora here of the hik hik. Um, I suppose here representing sort of the guide, the guide element of the book as we're looking around at all these different things. This one, this person, when did it, sold his country for gold, sold his patriam, auro for gold, and he imposuit and fastened upon her, i.e. his country, a potentem dominum, um, a tyrant master, fixit, he looked at emphatic positions in the sentence, he made and refixit and unmade laws here, there's a reference in the back of McLennan that uh, this could be a reference to Mark Antony. Make sure that you know all of the content context from the back of the book. He um, made and unmade laws for a pretio, for a bribe. He, this one, forced his, uh, this one, he, in Wasit, forced the bedroom, forced the bedchamber of his daughter and a forbidden wetitos himeneos and a forbidden marriage. Ausi, they all, Ausi, Omnis, Ausi, they all dared an unspeakable sin, and they potiti, and they achieved also what they had dared. Non, no, if see, if there were to me, if I had a hundred tongues, a hundred mouths, Kentum or a hundred mouths and a wax ferrea and a voice of iron, I could not possum, I could not sum up all of the forms of crimes, omnis formas skelerum. I would not be able to sum up, to list all the forms of crimes or per curere or rehearse, or run through, omnia, all the nomina, all the tales of poinarum, of tortures, of punishments. Very well done. I'll see you all next lesson.